who I found. But you know what? I found them inside the the uh, vendor exhibition area, and it was way too loud. So I found Dr. Mike back now, and we moved into a little quieter place because I want you to hear what he has as a key to inflammation. And Mike, go ahead and tell us. So inflammation. Inflammation is affecting all of us. In fact, there is a book written, which I recommend that your, your friends here do get, called Inflammation Nation by Dr. Floyd Chilton. You can find it on Amazon. But that book explains that there's so many different things we deal with that have their root cause in inflammation. Things like arthritis, uh, obesity, cardiovascular disease, asthma, allergies, and the list goes on and on. So what we're saying is that so many things begin with inflammation in everyone, not just athletes. But athletes provide a very unique venue for finding out what is the best way to improve and, and to get over things. So we see in the athletic community the use of fish oils constantly, and that is to bring down inflammation and help with performance. And when we see it in the regular population, the rest of us, we know that taking the fish oils, adding that daily to your diet is vital to bring down inflammation because it helps with the cell membranes and their flexibility. And that gets very scientific and biological, but that's actually what happens. The cell membranes, every cell in our body, heart cell, liver cell, bone cell, muscle cell, joint cells, are all made up with fats, fatty acids in their membrane and the brain. So inflammation reducing, fish oils is the key. So not just athletes, because we know that athletes are always getting banged up there in constant inflammation, joints, brain, knees, everything. So what, any other sector of the population yeah. that works for too? I mean, people with skin issues, ladies, hormones. Hormones are fat-related, similar, similar compounds to the fats, these fatty acids. Not the fats we're eating, but very unique and specialized structures. So the right fish oils, and I say the right ones because there's a lot of different ones on the market, many of them and they may not be the right ones for everyone to be taking. In fact, they may be actually creating more of a toxicity effect because of the way they're not distilled properly and the different sources that they get them from. You can imagine that if you got something from a sardine, the oil and the tissues from a sardine or an anchovy is not going to be the same as a wild salmon out in the Northwest. So the quality of the oil is very important also. I mentioned about the vitamin E issue. Yes. And how it could go rancid or something. Yeah. A couple of components you need to have with your fish oil. You say, I'm going to look for this. Okay, so you want to have the fish oil, EPA and DHA. That's included in fish oil. That is what it is. It's an omega-3. But it's important to add a bit of vitamin E to that mixture. Very low dose. It should be added to the formula because it prevents it from oxidizing or going rancid in your body. Why shouldn't they get it from a regular, you know, department store or, you know, a bargain basement store or something like that. You never know about the storage of things, if things have been heated for a period of time or, or stuck in an area where it was very hot, especially in South Florida, that could have rancidity problems and that's going to do damage to your body. And you wouldn't even know it when you start taking it until down the road. Inflammation doesn't necessarily have anything to do with being in pain. You may not notice, right? Correct. Correct. You may not have any pain at all and say, I'm not inflamed. But in his book and in a movie called Food Inc., another thing I recommend people watch, Food Inc., you can get it at video stores and rent it. It talks about the problem of inflammation has been caused because of our diet and our food supply. So we're eating a lot of nut-based foods, soy, um, soy and uh, corn-based foods infused into everything. Omega-6s raises the omega-6 count, certain fatty acids that Which creates... Is a bad thing. That's right. It's, it's pro-inflammatory. So you wouldn't have to have inflammation, you could be pro-inflammatory, have a bump of your arm at the gym, and all of a sudden this pain will not go away for two weeks. Now that's not normal inflammation. So inflammation is normal, but prolonged inflammation causes damage and it's not normal. Okay, give me uh, dosages for adults. Dosages, the, the literature tells us that 3,000 milligrams a day for an adult is the, the bottom dose, the basement. We want to be higher than that. But 3,000 milligrams a day is the basement for an adult. We recommend that most adults take it at night before bed. Kids? Children have a specialized weight dependent dose, and that's going to be something specifically we talked about that. On the I'll get you the information so you can do the formula based on the weight of your child, but it's vital for kids to be on fish oils, especially with their diet. And if they're in the public school and your diet can't be controlled, it's one of the most crucial things. In fact, here's the last thing I would say. When people say to me, if I only have enough money for one supplement, because we've got to be concerned with the economy. If I can only afford one supplement, what should I take? And I say fish oil. That's where you put your money. Omega-3. 
omega-3s with, with some with vitamin, with vitamin E. Vitamin E, yes. Anything else? Yes, there before? should be one other component in there. You can find it in that book, Inflammation Nation, and it is uh, gamma linoleic acid. It is also known as black currant seed oil. But it's all included in certain formulas, and those are the best formulas. Uh, before bed, we got the units down at their milligrams as to how much. Is more better? More is not always better, and you really want to be specific with that, uh, how much you're taking, and the best way is to start with 3,000. If you have an inflammatory condition, you may want to use a higher dose for a period of time. Personally, what I do, 7,500 milligrams per night, I take it. At night? At night. And you say, so, in a wrap-up nutshell, dose, uh, dose. The, the, uh, for anybody, and the time of day, and that, just go through Take it in the time. evening. Fish oil is the number one thing to do. Several supplements in there. Look for Inflammation Nation. After you look for Dr. Spence's book, that's the primary book to have. But look for that one. So fish oils at night, not cod liver oil, but fish oil, a blend. We want the spectrum, not necessarily cod liver oil only. There's more of a rancidity problem when you're in the heat with cod liver oil as opposed to a blend. So fish oils at night, 3,000 milligrams for adults, children, dose dependent based on age. But they need I'll it. get you that formula. Yes. All right. Thanks. Dr. Okay. Mike, fantastic. That's a wrap.